Alright, so here we are with uh, January's releases. Uh, first off, off the bat, we have <clears throat> Joker's mandatory uh, crew release. So this time it is Harley Quinn's thug set number two. Uh, so she gets more henchmen for her crew, which can also be used for Joker. Uh, not too much to say about these guys. We did see them before in the Flash and Arrow rulebook. Uh, so we knew they were coming eventually, although, you know, we're finally getting them. As a Joker player, I'm happy to see them, but I know uh, some people probably won't be too impressed that Joker is getting, yet again, more releases for himself while other crews are sort of languishing. Um, not too much to say about these guys. They do follow that same <clears throat> Harley Quinn uh, color scheme and, you know, look. So let's just get right into their stats. So first up in the Harley Thug set is uh, Harley Thug number six, Mr. Chencho. I guess that's how you pronounce that. Anyways, he's uh, coming in at a big whopping reputation 25. He has strength five, a movement of two, attack three, defense two, uh, and willpower five. So all average sort of for Joker thugs. Although the big thing that stands out here is his endurance is six. So. A little bit more um, tanky, I guess, than the normal run-of-the-mill Joker thugs. Uh, and then, of course, Special 3. He is equipped with a bat that does a single stun apiece and is handy and heavy. So really, if you look at it, he's actually Strength 4 if you are using his bat, which I don't see why you wouldn't be unless his bat was stolen. Uh, for personal traits, he has Street Guy, so he can crouch for free. He has Combo with Bat, so for every two attacks you make, uh, you get one extra one for free and he is adaptable so at the beginning of the turn you can either choose um, attack defense or movement and you get plus one to that stat so really if you like it's actually not too bad uh, considering this guy's combo with bat so if you put you know hit his adaptable into using attack uh, you can actually get five attacks out of him uh, movement will help him get up the board or defense if you're worried about him getting you know beat down pretty quick you can throw that in defense and then he'll be all right um not too much to say about him i mean he's sort of just a regular run-of-the-mill joker goon filling the role of another bat guy just like august um you know the adaptable is nice because you can sort of um change him up to what you think he the purpose you'll need him for is so you know if you if you need some attacks getting out there you know throw it an attack if if you need sort of like a objective grabber or holder you know you can go for movement or defense to get him there and then sort of defend it um not too much to say about him like there's nothing really stand out he's just sort of general thug uh points filler for a crew you know you wouldn't make a a list around him but you know I guess I guess it's nice to have him just because of he's fairly cheap and his weapons okay uh, not so much to say about him I guess uh, just a thug so we'll get into the next guy so next up is Harley thug number seven mr. lumberjack uh, he comes in at a big reputation 20 uh, he has strength 5 movement 2 attack 3 defense 2 endurance 4 and will power four so nothing too too much to to be happy about you know he's he's fairly average or below average for the joker crew um he is equipped with an axe though which is sort of his saving grace uh that does two blood damage and is handy and heavy so really his attack or his strength is four as opposed to um Five and he can reroll to hit so you know he, he's fairly reliable in close combat um, <clears throat> and be able to put out you know decent damage uh, he has street guy so he's able to crouch for free giving him a plus one to his pin rolls but really this guy is sort of uh, a points filler type dude uh, to fill out the crew if you know you got 20 rep left over you'll probably pick him because the axe is a reliable weapon uh, probably one of the better ones in the game, uh, giving the rerolls the hit and the plus one to their strength. Uh, you know, it'd be nice to see him with strength four, so with his heavy, it'd be strength three, but 
for 20 reputation you can't really complain too much about him he's not going to do amazing things by himself but as a support piece with you know a whole gang of guys uh, he's going to be perfect and it's sort of the general theme for this pack in general is you know these two models by themselves aren't amazing but as part of like maybe a swarm list or something um, along those lines I think you're gonna get some real good mileage out of them uh, they aren't amazing but they aren't shit either they're sort of like just general dudes that are gonna fulfill their roles as needed uh, so with that we'll get into the next dude alright so the second release uh, for this month is the electrocutioner uh, this is one that's been speculated coming for a while just based on he's been in a game that's been out for you know something like four or five years as of this recording uh, he is the electrocutioner from Arkham Origins a uh, pretty cool model, you know, looks like the character from the game, so, you know, not much, too much to say about him. To be honest, I, I don't know much about his backstory or anything. Uh, I'm more of a New 52 comic reader and later, so he hasn't actually been in there, so I don't know too much about this character. If, if you guys know things, you know, let me know. Maybe if there's something I can check out and read up on him, but the model looks really cool. Uh, I'm not sure about the burns on his face. I don't remember that from the game, but, uh, you know, pretty cool looking model. Uh, so let's just jump right into his stats because I have not too much to say about his model in general. Alright, so here he is, Mr. Electrocutioner, Lester Buczynski. Uh He is a free agent for any crew. Uh, and that includes the good guy crews, if you're wondering what the hell. Uh... He's reputation 40. He has a strength of 4 plus, so you know, average. Uh, movement 2, attack 4, defense 3, endurance 5, and willpower 5. Uh, not too much to be excited for, but at reputation 40, you know, that's that's pretty good consi considering. Uh, he has the shot gloves, which do 2 stun a hit, and have the crit stun rule, so effectively it gives out paralyzed. Um, he's a criminal, so if he does knock out a model, he gains plus one to his willpower. He has the electric storm rule, so what that does is you spend uh, three special and an attack, and you place a blast template over top of him, and everything underneath takes a hit at strength four plus, dealing two stun uh, of damage. He has the EMP rule, so anything with the Cybernetic bot or robotic rule. He gains rerolls to hit. Um, he has a taunt rule. So what that does is you spend um, sorry. Let me just look that up right quick. Uh, one special, and you choose an enemy model within 20 centimeters and the line of sight, and you can reallocate up to two uh, action counters into their attack stat. Um, not great, but I guess if you're worried about a character who is uh, set up for defense, or maybe someone who has mind control and is going to screw you over next turn, you know, you can move those counters. You are the one who. Uh, reallocates so you can take counters out of something that you don't want them to be in and put them into attack um, this doesn't say anything about if uh, the attack stat is full so I'd assume you cannot reallocate above their attack stat because it doesn't say you can um, that probably be something that needs to be addressed in FAQ uh, either way, you know, could be handy or it could screw you over if uh, you don't want someone who's going to be fighting to have that. Uh, and finally, he has Charismatic. So, not too much to say about this guy. Um, it is cool that he can go with any crew. So, you know, if you need sort of like a, a half-decent melee brawler type guy, uh, he's someone to look at. Uh, attack 4 is pretty good for, you know, 40 reputation. Uh, a lot of things, you know, it's above average, so, you know, you might have a hard time stopping him if he is attacking you. Uh, being able to dish out, you know, the 2 stun damage uh, per hit, 
he is sort of let down by that strength four, but again, it's not so bad that you wouldn't want to take him at all. Uh, and you know, the possibility of being able to get that crit stun off is 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 good enough to at least consider him for you know lists and crews. And because he can go with anything, uh, you know, as a law player, which is sort of my my favorite crew at the moment. Um, you know, I would consider this guy just because they do lack sort of reliable uh, close combat options. You know, they're they're a gun line through and through, but finding good, uh, you know, close combat characters to bring in the list is kind of hard. So, you know, I, I would consider him for that uh, type of list. Um, other than that, not too much to say, you know, if you're worried about Cyborg, I guess bring him, but... <clears throat> Cyborg will probably put him down before uh, he can actually get to him. Now he is only 40 reputation, so you gotta take that into consideration. Uh, you know, cheap enough to fit in, but don't expect great things from him. I guess is the final thought on this guy. So with that, we'll get into the next release for this month. All right, so here he is, Mr. Emperor Penguin. Uh, he's one that's been sort of ask for i guess or wish listed for quite a while um i know i've wanted to see him in the game since i read about him in uh detective comics uh it's mr emperor penguin he is a leader for the uh, penguin crew uh, and i think the model just captures his his look from the comic books uh you know perfectly Again, I'm a huge fan of seeing stuff from the comics actually getting into the game. Uh, I know Night Models draws heavily from the video games, um, namely the Arkhamverse games for inspiration for models for this game. Um, but I always love seeing comic book stuff, and, and this is just perfect. Right out of the comic, uh, the only thing he's missing is maybe a monocle, but not a big deal. Uh, so let's get into his stats. Uh, so he's Ignatius Ogilvy. He's the Emperor Penguin. Uh, he's a rank leader for the Penguin crew. He does come in at a whopping 111 rep. Uh, no finding though. Uh, he's strength 3 plus, so you know above average. Willpower 7, so pretty good for a leader. Movement 3, so again pretty good. Attack and defense 4, so average above average for you know a leader character endurance nine which is pretty crazy and of course special three he's equipped with a chain which does one stun damage uh per hit uh it has reach so it can attack models within three centimeters and is heavy so it actually is plus one to his uh damage roll so actually he would be strength two with that attack he has dirty money which gives uh, $300 of funding to his crew. He's fast, so he can reroll his movement rolls. Uh, he has Master Fighter, so he has plus one to hit enemy models. Regeneration, what that does is uh, for a special, he can remove a damage counter of any type off of himself. He has Reinforced Gloves, so two stun apiece uh, for his unarmed close combat attacks. So paired up with his Strength 3, you know, he's basically just as good as a Batman. Uh, scheming one so during the raise a plan phase if you're going second or sorry if you're going first um, you can choose one model to hold back and see what your opponent sets up before you actually set up that one model and he has tough skin so attacks against him are minus one two damage um, overall for a leader for the penguin crew this guy is super fucking solid um, you know, he's he's the tanky with his ability to uh, regenerate damage, uh, and with his tough skin, uh, defense four not the greatest, but endurance nine. You know, it, it's it's quite up there. Not too much is above him, unless you're looking at something like t Titan Bane. Um, in terms of damage output you know strength three is wicked with his reinforced gloves and and master fighter uh and you know if you have something that you need to make sure you get the damage on um being able to have the chain to do stun damage it only does one a piece but he'd go up to strength two um 
one of the things with the penguin crew is always it was sort of like a swarm list uh with the penguin himself being able to give 500 dollars of funding um you can get a lot of guns in they sort of continued that theme by giving him dirty money not as great as the penguin obviously but still pretty good to have that extra 300 dollars of funding uh other than that, like, there's not really too many downsides to him. You know, it it would have been nice to see another defense on him, but really with his Endurance 9, Tough Skin, and Regeneration, he's still able to take a punch and still keep coming. Uh, just a great model, and it's nice to see, you know, an old crew like the Penguin crew that maybe hasn't seen any releases in a while to finally get something else like this. So with that, I guess we'll get into the shining star of this month releases, which is the Riddler Crew. Alright, so the Riddler Crew got two releases this month, this four character starter set, uh, as well as a sidekick option. Uh, the four player starter set though, it comes with three goons and the Riddler himself. The goons reminiscent of that 60s look where they're all wearing the same the same suit with the big question mark on their chests. Um, <clears throat> not too much to say about them. Really thematic for the crew. It's it's nice to see that he's getting a, a bit of an update. Uh, and the Riddler himself is in his traditional green suit with bowler hat. Reminiscent of the free agent Arkham City Riddler. Uh, just more of a, I guess, comic inspired version of that as opposed to the Arkhamverse version. So with that we'll get right into the Riddler set. Alright, so here's the Riddler. He is a leader level character for the Riddler crew. Comes in at 80 reputation, has willpower 8, strength 5, movement 2, attack 3, defense 3, endurance 7, not too bad, uh, special 3, and no funding. Uh, he is equipped with a cane sword, which is a new weapon I believe. Uh, it does 2 blood a hit, and is, has the sharp rule. For his personal traits, he has confusion, which is uh, when you spend Two special counters, you can choose an enemy model within line of sight and is no further than 20 centimeters away. Their defense and attack rating is reduced by one and they are unable to use special counters. Uh, this is really good for him. Uh, it gives him a lot of control over sort of what's going on around him. Things like back claws coming in or uh, that nasty ivy with their mind control. Uh, it really prevents, you know, a lot of the other character special abilities from going off so this is really good for him uh, along the same lines he has goad which is uh, spend a special counter I believe yes uh, and you pick a model within 20 centimeters away and you can move them up to 5 centimeters following the normal movement rules you cannot make them fall or uh, enter sewers I think is the two things on that uh, but the big thing for that is uh, if it's someone with a gun, uh, they do count as moving for shooting purposes, so the rare fire will drop to uh, one instead. He has Mastermind, so what that one does is you get a special... Sorry, you get one extra counter in the bag uh, that represents your crew. And when you try to solve riddles, uh, you uh, can re-roll. Although... The next rule uh, sort of doesn't matter because he has Puzzle Master, so whenever he attempts to solve a riddle, uh, he will always get the maximum three and it will automatically pass. Uh, then he has a few new special traits. First one being Wizard of the Quiz. So the objectives within 15 centimeters of this model score one victory point less. So a really good rule. Uh, really hurts you know your opponent from being able to score. And allows you to play defensively with this guy because he can still hang back and sort of protect uh, the enemy objectives and reduce how much people get off of them. Uh, next up he has quiz master so you may take an additional objective riddle and you have one more marker for each objective riddle taken. So what all that means is um, you can take riddle twice and he'll get three instead of the two. Uh, now if you pair that up with uh, secret objective I believe this um, the strategy that allows you to take another riddle uh, so you can actually get nine riddles out on the board if you take riddle three times which is pretty crazy considering that when he tries to solve it you get um, you know the full max three points um, next up he has a challenge for you at the start of the game before taking the lead you may switch positions between two enemy objectives 
Uh, not too great, although I, you can sort of use it to your advantage. Say if your opponent is using loot, you can move that into your deployment zone close to your guys. Maybe combine Catwoman with their crew so you can actually steal their loot right off the bat and start getting points. Um, but other than that, kind of a neat little rule. Finally, he has Riddle Bots. Uh, whenever you hire a model with the trait, can you solve this X? meaning whatever the number is this trait changes to auto repair X where X is the value of what they change it to and multitask now these two rules haven't been shown in any of the books yet so I'm not too sure what that really does I mean you, you get a kind of an idea of like what auto repair will be it'll probably just mean that the bots can um, heal themselves similar to when you try to recover at the end of the game or at the end of the phase so you know roll a dice and you heal a stun marker I believe it's probably gonna be something along those lines although we don't know for sure uh, same with multitask a rule that hasn't been released yet uh, so hopefully those rules will come in this pack otherwise it's kind of a kind of a moot point until we get some clarification um, really great leader uh, you know, you're not going to send him in fighting other characters for sure. Maybe some weak henchmen, but just for, you know, his his board control, confusion, and goad, uh, and the ability to take all those riddles is going to be really nice, and he's going to be able to score, you know, fairly reliably uh, with the, you know, with the right crew behind him. He can actually rock house without having to fight too much. So really excited to get this guy. I probably will pick him up eventually and do sort of a Riddler crew around him and his goons and speaking of his goons let's uh, take a look at the first one alright so first up for his uh, goons is quiz number one he is a henchman level character for the Riddler crew comes in at 33 reputation with 350 funding his willpower 5 so average for you know a henchman level character strength 5 plus not the greatest but he has guns so it won't matter movement 2 attack 3 defense 3 uh, pretty average uh, endurance 6, you know, not too bad for a henchman level person, and the normal special 3. He's equipped with two custom SMGs that do a blood and a stun apiece with a rate of fire 3, 1 ammo each. Uh, and these have the firearm short range and assault 2 rule. Uh, not too bad, assault 2 is pretty nice, so you can still move and get two shots off, uh, which combos well with a uh, ability he has which we'll look at in a second he has the hardened personal trait which means the first blood he takes uh, every turn uh, converts to a stun instead and he has rapid fire so for one special counter uh, he gets his rate of fire goes up by one so if he's standing still his rate of fire goes to three um, and if he moves Normally his rate of fire will go to 2 because of the assault rule, but if you use this, he will keep his rate of fire. So he'll still shoot at rate of fire 3 even when moving if you spend a special counter. Uh, this is actually really cool. It allows him to stay mobile and still get off, you know, those 3 shots. Uh, without too much penalty, you know, if he is... If he is trying to shoot, uh, you know, he'll have 2... Uh, willpower counters uh, assigned to attack and one into special to get that rapid fire off you can even assign another one to movement if you wanted to uh, it allows him to close the, the distance with characters because his guns are only short range uh, but still get you know really solid effect out of it uh, maybe he'd need to move to try to avoid giving his target pings or something or just to get an opponent's face and sort of freak him out that some dude rocking two SMGs just rolled in and they do, you know, they're fairly strong. Rate of fire three, uh, blood and a stun apiece. You know, that's nothing to, to scoff at, uh, especially if he's going up against sort of low level henchmen who just really can't take that much damage. Uh, not too much else to say about him. Really solid character. He's going to fit in pretty much most Riddler crews, I think, regardless of if you're using uh, the new Riddler leader or not. Um, just a really solid character. So let's look at the next guy. All right, the second henchman in the pack is quiz number two. He is 15 reputation, so pretty cheap. Uh, he's strength four plus, willpower four, so not the greatest. Uh, movement two, attack three, defense two, uh, endurance four, special three. Uh, so 
based on his stats, he's kind of weak. Uh, you know, the defense 2 means pretty much everyone's going to be able to hit him. And endurance 4 means he's probably going to get knocked out. Or at least, yeah, knocked out if not killed from whatever hits him. Um, he is equipped with two question mark knuckles. So essentially brass knuckles, except that they do a blood and they are handy. So he will get those rerolls to hit. And strength 4 is pretty respectable for a henchman of his caliber. Uh, he does have combo with the question knuckles. So... Potentially getting four attacks out of him if you put all of your counters into attack He has the small trait. So one of the things uh, a lot of people were talking about on uh, The Arkham City limits was how small he was compared to everybody Obviously uh, that was intentional because he does have the small rule. So he uh, Moves a little slower than the rest and gets uh, a bonus to his ping rolls I believe his movement's only 8 centimeters, but, you know, you can run him up and, yeah, he's probably just more of an objective denier than anything. Uh, but he does have combat flip, so he can get around uh, if he is in close combat. Uh, what that one is, is if you're in base-to-base -base contact with an enemy model, you may spend a special counter and move anywhere within 5 centimeters of that enemy model. So... Uh, one of the tricks that I want to try is run him directly at uh, a model, uh, do his attacks, and then spend that combat flip to get on the other side 5 centimeters. So you actually get 8 centimeters of effective movement out of him. Um, kind of a cool rule. I think it's going to be situational for when it's really useful. You know, if you rush him in and then sort of bounce him out of combat, it'll help prevent him from getting... Um, surrounded although defense 2 means his defense really can't get much lower even if he was outnumbered um, but you can also use it to sort of get over say uh, say if a bunch of models were blocking your way and you're trying to get past you can always run them in uh, into base contact with that enemy and then spend the special and sort of just get right over them and keep going Obviously not in the same turn, but you know, keep going next turn if you uh, if he's lucky enough to live. I think the real downside to this guy is he's probably he's cheap, but he's also gonna die super quick. You know, defense two, endurance four is is basically a joke. No one's gonna have a hard time taking this guy down, um, and there's really nothing that mitigates that for him defensively. So. Probably your best bet is to send him against super weak uh, henchmen, maybe like the female and uh, fat cops on the law force. You know, maybe he, he might be able to take those guys. Um, or just maybe as a support character, you know, save him for last activation once some of your other characters get into close combat and, and move him in for the, the outnumber and get in his uh, knuckle attacks. Because, you know... His, uh, his close combat attacks aren't too bad. You know, strength 4 plus with the handy means he will be able to, to get some hits in. It's just if anyone returns attacks, he, he's done. Um, so not too much to say about him. Kind of an iffy character. Uh, next character is quiz number 3, so let's check him out. Alright, so the last henchman in the pack is quiz number 3. Uh, his name is John Carey. So I do wonder if that is a sort of knock on Jim Carrey who did play the Riddler in uh, one of the 90s movies uh, maybe I'm just looking into it too much but that's the first thing I thought of when I saw that uh, so anyways he is a henchman for the Riddler crew he comes in at a big whopping reputation 20 he has willpower 4 so that's super low um, strength 4 plus not too bad uh, movement 2 attack 3 again defense 2 and endurance 4 though so another one of those characters who can't take a punch uh, and then, of course, Special 3. He is equipped with two short sickles that do a blood and a stun each and have the sharp rule. Uh, he, too, has combo with his weapons. So, again, you could potentially get four attacks out of him if you put all of your attacks into... Um, sorry, if, if you put all your willpower into attacks. Uh, and that combos pretty well, you know. Uh, four attacks with the sharp rule and strength 4 plus is pretty good uh, and he puts out half decent damage uh, the big thing though with him is he has distract now this is a really good rule uh, basically if you spend a special counter you can choose an enemy model within 10 centimeters 
their defense is reduced by two so this makes them a lot easier to hit um, you know even if you combine that with say like the outnumbered rule which further reduces their defense you can all of a sudden start you know getting some hits on the bigger characters who have that you know super high defense five um, I think though his his role is gonna be to combo with quiz number one with the two SMGs uh, sort of rush this guy forward distract your target and then try to let's go the other the guy with the SMGs to uh, get in some really good you know shots on that character I think that that's gonna combo well um, and really if you look at sort of all of the Riddler crew they don't have a lot of heavy hitters so you're probably gonna want like some sort of beefy uh, free agent to help out with the close combat in this crew um, and this guy's just gonna be able to support whoever that is very well with that distract rule uh, again his his biggest downside is that defense 2 and endurance 4 you know you're gonna have to be careful with uh, how you place this guy and sort of who who you're lining him up to fight uh, because he really isn't gonna last long in any sort of close combat or you know if he is shot at least the last guy with endurance four and defense to had the small rules so you can hopefully take advantage of some ping rolls but this guy he's wide out in the open and he's gonna die like the first time someone even sneezes at him again not too much else to say about this four pack uh, just a great great addition to the Riddler crew it's nice to see him finally getting some more some more love and uh, a different type of henchman other than the bots um, I think these guys with the bots plus uh, the character we're gonna look at next who is the sidekick for the crew uh, really makes a, a really nice thematic crew and uh, you know I'm gonna be looking forward to, to setting these guys up eventually and just paint painting up all those question marks and the the green and the purples so with that since we did talk about her let's uh, check out Kel well whatever you guys figured out All right, so last up is uh, the sidekick option for the Riddler. First time he's getting a sidekick, which is pretty cool. Her name is Quell. Quell. Uh, my French is bad. Um, don't know too much about her. I tried to look up sort of online any sort of backstory, and I found a few things, but it seems like she wasn't very much of a major character. She is obviously from the comics and not any of the other Arkhamverse or the movies, so... You know we have that she looks pretty cool though you know fits the theme of the rest of the crew the polka dot dress with the uh, the pink the purple tights uh, you know she's building a gun so it's nice to get some more shooting support in a crew that didn't really have it before uh, not too much else to say about her though cool looking model so let's check out her stack card all right so here she is uh, miss Quell Josette uh, she's a sidekick for the Riddler crew she comes in at a respectable reputation 45 with 200 funding. She is strength 5, movement 2, attack and defense 3, endurance 5, and special 3. Uh, she has willpower 6, sort of, uh, although her personal traits will change that and we'll look at that in a second. Uh, she has a precision gun, so it does 2 blood a hit, uh, has a rate of fire 2, and she has 2 ammo for that. Uh, she has the firearm rule on that gun. Uh, which means she wounds on a 2 plus. Uh, it has the handy rule, which is pretty awesome if you combine that with the dude that has uh, distract. Uh, what that does is allow her to reroll her failed uh, attempts to hit. Uh, the gun has accurate, so models that use the dodge rule against her shooting are minus one to their movement and at short range, so she can only shoot people within 20 centimeters. Now she has the bipolar disorder, so what that does is at the beginning of the raise the plan phase, uh, you flip a coin, if it's heads, she gains plus one action counter, and if it's tails, uh, she loses an action counter. So she really is willpower seven or five, depending on how that dice or that coin flip goes. She has the undercover rule, so she's able to deploy 20 centimeters outside of her deployment zone. The trickster rule, so when she does activate, she can rearrange all of her counters. She has disarray, so what that does is you spend one special counter and you can change the position of two action counters on an enemy model's character card she also has demotivate so for two special counters um, you can choose an enemy model within 20 centimeters 
Um, that character must pass a willpower roll or immediately lose two action counters. So she plays into sort of Riddler's, um, you know, screwing with your opponent's characters uh, shtick. Uh, with those two rules, you know, she's able to do it with her full special. Uh, so she can do both abilities on the same turn. Uh, it really can screw with what your opponent has planned. Um, the other thing she has going on is Wizard of the Quiz. So same rule as the Riddler. Uh, enemy objectives or uh, objectives within 15 centimeters of, of the model score. One victory point less to opponent players to a minimum of one. Uh, so again, just really there to sort of screw over your opponent. You know, mess with his character's uh, action counter allocation and reduce the amount of victory points they're able to get from their objectives. Uh, finally, she does have the treacherous rule. So she cannot be the boss of the crew. Uh, this is probably so she can't be taken as a sidekick boss and then uh, not change the way uh, the Riddler bots work. So she originally um, she was actually printed without this rule and you know the trick was that people were sort of thinking up was take her as a leader, uh, take the bots who can put out their own riddle markers uh, that score each turn and then take uh, just the regular allotment of objectives so you have all this potential arrays you know a ton of objectives per turn um, but they fix that pretty quickly with this new rule um, and I, I think that's fair you know it would have been a little too crazy if she's able to do that but again she's she's not someone you want to get into fights but you know she's gonna be there to really screw over your opponents and it's it's gonna be uh, a pretty dirty crew i think uh with the new riddler and this guy you know he's pumping out confusion you have a guy who has distract she has the demotivate and disarray um your opponent really has to think twice about engaging or getting close with these guys because you know his plans are going to fall to pieces once you get in close which i think is really thematic for like a riddler crew because you know he's always scheming and stuff and i, I think this is going to be a great crew uh i can't wait to get my hands on you know these these two new releases at least, uh, the Riddler uh, and and this this model, the Sidekicks. Uh, but with that, that's all the releases for this month. So uh, let me know what you guys are most excited for uh, in this month's releases in the comment section below.